All right, everybody, welcome back to the channel. We're here with another part of this Red Dead Redemption walkthrough. So in the last part, we finally finished the main campaign. We're finally done with that. Uh, sad way to see John Marston go, but at least at least we got the redemption in Jack. Jack Marston, he, re he redeemed him, or, or took out Agent Ross. Oh, finally, it was, it was, it was worth it to see. Um, I know you can do the whole open world aspect. I didn't want to mess around too much with that. There's a lot of stuff to explore. But limited time to film, um, sadly. I wish I could explore this game even more, but it's only so much time in the day for me to film. Um, so we're going to start with Undead Nightmare. This, uh, man, honestly, let's dive right in. I know for a fact that you start with, like, uh, we had all of our guns. I think we pretty much had everything except the Buffalo Rifle um, from the main campaign. But I know when you start this, you don't carry everything over. I think you just get, like... I think it's a revolver, I think the double barrel, and, I mean, a lasso, I think. So, let's let's go ahead and dive right in. Create a new save game, yep. Continue. Oh, I'm so excited for this. I... L Oh, I can't wait. After months away, John Marston has returned to his loved ones. While trying to rebuild his ranch and win back the trust of his family, Marston awaits whatever life will throw at him. As he drives home one evening from an errand, he ponders whether a man can ever escape his past. He is a man who is ready for anything. Almost anything. Red Dead Redemption, Undead Nightmare. Oh, damn. Mother. Oh, I'm sorry. I meant to say, damn this awful son I've raised with his highfalutin ways and his shame that his mother swears like a sailor and sews like a blind man. Is that better? Your lordship. Much better, Mother dearest. Oh, good. I'm so glad, my darling. When you finished your university education and are far too good to even acknowledge my existence when we pass on the street, and you gently kick me aside and beg an old crow out of the way with your highly polished boot. Well, think of me kindly at least, will you, my son? I'll try to, Mother. I'll think, that woman I just kicked, that used to be my dear old potty mouth mom. Maybe I should bother to kick her harder. <laughs> Dear boy. Oh, I am so proud of you. Get off. Now, father's here. Maybe he can beat some sense into you. Something funny's going on out there. Damn dogs gone crazy, and wolves howling, and birds flying. Well, it's just the storm, John. Maybe. Uncle make it back yet? I thought he was with you off drinking in the fields. I mean working, as you call it now. Uh, he went into town a few hours ago after we busted that hammer working out in the meadow. Well, he's probably holed up in some place of ill repute waiting for the passing of the storm. I hope so. Well, that old man can take care of himself. I know. Just a funny feeling I got. You got psychic, Paul? Either that or I ate something funny. <laughs> Knowing your mother's cooking seems more than likely. Mm. Well, talking about food, who's ready for some poisoning? <laughs> Me, my darling. I am starving. What you reading? 
Just some book about monsters. Tell me about it. It's kind of dumb. <laughs> that should suit me just fine. Well, it's all about, in ancient times, how Aztec warriors worshipped the sun. But during full moons, some of them worshipped the moon instead. And upset the equilibrium of things. So anyway, w what it involves is, there's this one guy, and he goes out to search of this search of this So anyways, since there ain't no cure, the brave man has to kill everybody, which is... Absolutely disgusting and completely unbelievable. <laughs> it's getting late. Guess we're not gonna see Uncle till morning. Come on then, Abigail. <sighs> Jack, get yourself to bed, boy. Try to get some sleep. Ain't you worried about Uncle? Sure, but he'll have to wait till morning just like any other man would in his shoes. Good night, son. Don't stay up reading too late. You okay, old man? You don't look so good. Okay then, that's <laughs> one way to start this. To get my gun. Yeah, and your family out of near that. Oh. Right your gun outside of your house. You better get back to your family, man. No, Abigail got bit. What'd you do to her, you sick bastard? Dude, okay. Oh no, Abigail, no. Ah, she's she's the best. I can't believe I had to kill that poor bastard. I Well You okay, darling? You okay? Oh. Abigail. Oh. Abigail. I don't feel so great. Yeah. Jack! Get out here! Now! Oh. Oh, good lord, what's happened? Mama! Careful, boy. Mama! Mama! Oh, Mama. Oh. Stay right there, the pair of them. Don't make me no widower now. What are we what are we doing? Okay, so I thought, that's what I thought, we start with the double barrel, the lasso. Are we gonna have to hog time? I think we're gonna hog time. Now stay there while I deal with your half-witted son. Wait, is Jack chasing the dog? Need to calm the hell down. Okay then. Yeah, I don't think they're calming down. This is uh, called a zombie apocalypse. Oh lord. Sick, crazy bastards, or what I've done to you, but I'm going to get help. 
Stay calm. As calm as you can, seeing as both of you seem to have gotten a little excited. Probably just a fever. Jack, be kind to your mother. Abigail, teach the boy right from wrong. Both of you, stop biting chunks out of people. Be back as soon as I can. I guess if you have no clue, if you've never heard of a zombie apocalypse like like we see in pop culture nowadays, this would be a very strange situation. Just people biting each other all of a sudden. Find me a doctor in town. Is he stuck full of arrows? Looks like he's stuck full of arrows. So there's a you. Who is you in Blackwater? Oh, it's just under Nightmare Mission. Okay. So, a little backstory about this game. The only real thing I remember about the story, I don't remember what all what happens. I, the main thing I remember is spending hours and hours killing zombies. But I know, the main thing I do know, is that there is, uh, like these, I think the four horses of the apocalypse. There's like death, war, pestilence, and famine that you can find around the map. You have to catch them and break them in, and then you can, um... You can use them, they're extremely fast and like unlimited stamina. So uh, I know one of them is in the Hennigan Stead and uh, West Elizabeth area, which is where we are now. I think it's, I think it's war maybe? No, no, it might be pestilence. Because I think famine is down in uh, Mexico. Uh, I think death can be found anywhere. And then war is anywhere in New Austin, which is the top side. And then... Pestilence, yeah, is is Hennigan'stead and West Elizabeth. So we can find it there. Um, after I finish up this part, I am going to search around West Elizabeth until I can find it. That's where we'll start off the next part because I want at least one of those horses. But uh, for now, let's actually head over to get help in Blackwater. Where's our horse? Oh, we make a save in the barn now. Okay. Do we have anything else with us? Just knock down a lantern. I should set a waypoint yeah. while I'm at it. But once we finish up this part, however long that takes, uh, we'll try to stick to the hour-long parts. But um, like I said, I'll start next part with the catching of a horse. If I can. If, it, if, it, if I just never find it, I, uh, I'll have to skip that. But... I'm going to do my best to find them before the next part. So we can start off with that. Be a lovely way to uh, begin the series here with an unlimited stamina horse that are extremely tough. They take a, take a lot of damage to go down. So it's giving you tips because you can start Undead Nightmare before the campaign. Um, so it's giving you all the, all the basic info. Um, I think, like it said in the cutscene there, it, it technically starts right after you reunite with your family, right towards the end of the game there. It's technically when the story starts, but... Let's go! Let's see what's going on here. I don't see any zombies for the moment. Oh, that house is on fire. I'm trying to take it slow, see if I see zombies, but they're not yeah. here yet. I, just, uh, I, I remember spending hours just shooting zombies in this game. This place is deserted. They've already placed the waypoint. It's giving me tips still, but I've already done that. Where are we going? Give me something to shoot at. So we got the Cattleman Revolver and the Double Barrel Shotgun. Both guns we get super early in the game. So that works for me. What do we got? Mr. Marston, sir! Marston! It's oh, me. McDougal! <laughs> Professor, what are you doing here? I thought you went back to Yale. Well, I did, but uh, I came back uh, for another round of research, <laughs> and now all hell is quite literally broken loose. You don't what say. What is going on? Well, well, sir, I am a man of science, a man of great learning, a, a thinker, a, a wise man, and I'll be honest with you, sir, I haven't got a fucking clue. At least he's honest for Point once. Why that dandy? Well, what should we do? 
Well, I suggest we try to find other survivors, band together, and find a cure. Or fight to the death trying. Well, well, well that sounds great and all, but, uh, but I'm uh, just peachy. But, but I'm not sure that I'm, I'm not cut out for such shenanigans. I, I was thinking more that uh, finding a horse and, and riding back to the civilized north at the speed of knots before writing a paper on the events from the comfort of my study. I'm a scientist after all, right? I mean, I, I, I can't do much science if I'm some bloodshot dervish's lunch, can I? Much as I would like. Your sense of duty is very impressive, Professor. <laughs> I'm gonna search the back street for survivors. No, no, no. perhaps staying with you would be safer. Uh, could, could you just wait a sec here, would you please? I, I'm going to wander down that lonely, deserted street and get my bag. Yeah, that's a smart idea. Wait, you should stay with me, Professor. You haven't got a gun. Oh, no, no, it's okay. There's no need to worry. Everyone's already dead. <laughs> I left my stuff with Mr. Nastas. Uh, you remember him, uh, Indian fellow, dumb as bricks, but, but a good sort. <laughs> Okay. Well, meet me in a couple minutes. Affirmative. A couple of minutes. <sighs> Wait, if this takes place after he goes back to Yale, Nasta should already be dead. And that's what I figured. for headshots. Do they have anything to loot? Oh, I'm being, I'm being horrible. Okay. Um. This is what I remember. Oh my lord, I remember this. And I'm about to die. Uh, how have I played the whole campaign and I just realized you press B to reload the weapon? You know what? I, I need to clear these guys so I can loot, but they kind of are very fast. They are faster than what I remember. They're a lot faster than I remember. I hope heaven better the second time around. Can I loot you guys? Damn it to hell. Unlucky. I found one one bullet. Nice. I'm gonna have to keep looting everybody I see. I don't wanna get too distracted because I could spend hours just doing this. Shotgun ammo, I'll take it. Well, that didn't go well. You can stay away from me, kind sir. I don't believe it. Okay, I, I accidentally placed one on his hand. Anybody else? Dude, there's so many. My day. <laughs> this is getting kind of ridiculous. Hold up. We're going to have to run through this. I need a lot more ammo. Undead Nightmare, who, who we got this time? Somebody's in Anyone there. Who here? is it? Hello? Anyone here? Come out. It's okay. Come out. I don't bite. Bad joke. I mean, come out. They got my family, mister. And mine, I fear. I saw my mama rip my daddy's face off and drink his blood. And they were happily married 20 years. I'm 
sorry. <laughs> we were so glad to see my mom. Because she's been dead for three years from the smallpox. Your mama was dead? I saw her walk up onto the porch. And then boom! She ate my daddy. Okay, so they reanimated. It's not just people getting sick. They're mister. actually reanimated corpses you weren't. as well. Sure, he liked to drink, but, but he weren't bad. And sure, he liked the company of women, but he weren't bad, mister. He weren't. No one deserves to have their blood drunk. I mean, he knew how to use his fist. And if, if a woman spoke out her place, he reminded her of it and everything. And when my mama was dying, people said that he was lying with her sister. But that weren't true, mister. It weren't. Okay, he's just speaking worse and worse dead. about her dad her here. Mr. Braithwaite, he's been dead a year. And then yesterday, he walked up that street eating dogs. And he loves animals. All the dead folk have come back to life, mister. Only they ain't happy. It's a funny kind of salvation. All the dead folk? All the folk buried at the cemetery over by the churchyard. My God. I'm gonna go have a look. You wanna come? No, I already seen my mama. I don't need to see any more of my relatives. Logical person. Here, it's a very Mr. good idea. Take this. If you can burn them, maybe you can put their souls to rest. Wait, have all the ones I killed, or do they just I pop back up, or what? You see my uncle Mordecai. You burn him. Burn him real good, you hear? Are these, are the ones I killed gonna pop back up, or what? Oh no, this is just speaking of the ones at the Undead Cemetery. I miss the fresh corpses. Get away! That works. And okay, they still hit pretty bad. Where's my horse at? If I can get any ammo, it's good ammo. I'm gonna need it. Not my day. Oh, get on the horse. I don't like that sound. It's very disturbing. Yeah. Oh god, take off. I remember where the cemetery was. Is there way another way to loot besides killing zombies? Cause this is gonna be a rough day for me. Cemetery. Here we go. I'm not ready for this. Slow it up now. Stay right there, horse. You don't want to be involved with this. If I can get through the, there we go. Burn the coffin. So we have torch is right there. There we go. Figured. Okay. The amount of force it takes to just dig through that is insane. Dang it. Oh, this is not good. Oh, this is... Oh, that's Mordecai! Okay, hold up, I just read this. Wait, did he just speak? How much is it gonna take to put him down? Oh, not that much. Hey, Mordecai's still up. I gotta search all these zombies. I need all the ammo I can get. I knew it. I knew this was a waste of time. You freaks are starting to 
Norman. Can I search? Yeah. Finally, I'm joined. Damn it! That's unfortunate. Damn you! Oh, so the ones with that X on the minimap actually show which ones have loot, it seems. I need a way to get more ammo. This is a rough scenario if I run out of ammo. Oh, repeater carbine? Did I just get a gun? So that's a grave graveyard cleared or cleansed. So we have to go around the map clearing graveyards or what? So we got a repeater carbine, I think. Not a lot of ammo though. Oh, I did get more for my cattleman, thank god. Come on! Okay, we're turning back to Blackwater. Thank God for Deadeye. I'm just so inaccurate in this game, apparently. All of a sudden. I don't know if uh, aim assist is toned down in this game mode or what. I need your help, mister! I can do that. What is it saying about sniper ammo? That's a person. Let's get back out front, help people. These guys suck. Two dead. One more coming. Yep, there we go. So like I said, it, it shows which one actually has loot available. I can check all the rest of them, but only that one. This town has been saved. While the undead may, may still be present, you can exp Okay, I got, I got cut off. Let me look around and see if there's any more X marks to spot zombies. More loot. Oh, so it, c it can be overrun again. I can sleep to save my game. It's going to fast uh, fast forward time again, like always. Is there any more with loot around here? Yes. So you got to keep saving the town, I guess, until you're done. One ammo? Come on. You got to give better drops than this. This is a little unfair. There's more survivors here. What are we doing? <laughs> we'll look like Abigail for a second. Folks okay? Oh, 
just fantastic. I just saw my daughter get eaten by some creature sent straight from hell. Thanks for asking. I'm kind of sorry I did. Sorry, mister. Forgive my wife. We've suffered terribly. What's going on? Well, it's the government's fault. Ain't it always? Well, they let in too many foreigners. Just shut the goddamn border or things like this happen. My daughter was just some satanic demon's lunch because of the goddamn government. And I pay my taxes. Well, usually. I think we may be moving a little off topic here. I ain't a wise man, but I have done a little traveling. These creatures ain't like any foreigners I've ever seen. Thanks for the input, cowpoke. Oh, I got flesh-eating monsters feasting on my family, and I'm taking advice about tolerance from a gunslinger. Oh, what in the world has my life come to? And my daddy told me I never should have gotten married. This is all your fault, you, you useless man. Oh, not now, Toreen. Not this again. <laughs> your daddy was a, a bully and a drunk. Well, you ain't no kind of man. <laughs> Listen, I'm sorry to interrupt your happy reminiscences. Is there anything I can do to help? Have you got any idea of how we can survive? Well, you could try shooting them creatures, you dumb fool. Ma'am, it's been a real pleasure. Sir, you're a man of great patience. He's, he's, he's straight up like, like now you can see what I have to deal with. <laughs> I love it. I thought we agreed we should stick Search together. more survivors. <laughs> There's some here. Okay. Don't just stand out in the open. This is not a good idea. Do I look like one of them? Don't come no closer. We made that mistake before. Lost half our number. I ain't one of them, you fool. Well, how do I know? They can't speak. I ain't taking no chances. Kill him. He's one of them. Yeah. No, uh, just be some stupid Take people. No okay. Chances, Silas. Have it your way. All right. Listen. I ain't coming no closer. Do you know what's going on? It's the glass eye. The freak with the glass eye. He caused this. No, no, no. It's the snake oil man. These poor folks have been drugged. I blame the Mexicans. They haven't been struck down. All right, we heard a lot of stories, Mister. Some say it's a moon. Some say it's drugs. They don't come no closer now. Stand back. Apparently it's worse in New Austin. Must be where it came from. And it looks like I'm headed down to New Austin. Did one of you say snake oil? It's the glass eye. I blame the Mexicans. Oh, Connie McTavish, you don't know nothing. You always was an ignorant shrew. I bet your husband's glad he's dead. <gasps> well... At least my husband never took favors from the stargazers, Lucille Billingsgate. You say you're sorry, you hillbilly white trash! Yeah, yeah, now how are we gonna rebuild America like this? Now, see, I thought we had it all decided. We was gonna be kind and gentle and pay homage to our leader, who happens to be me. Sounds like you folks have this all worked out. Have yourself a fine America, and good luck. <laughs> Yeah, some people are just dumb. We Nothing we can do about it, though. Decided. We decided we would hold elections. And, and there, there it is. You can't <laughs> even read. Well, I, I got gravity. I mean, gravy. I mean, uh, folk respect me. I am the new king, Archibald Andrews. Me. Now pay him. <laughs> they, they just left her? What the heck, man? They didn't even bother shooting. Are you joking? That dude's horrible. I'm gonna go ahead and take out that zombie, though. Bolts or undead are extremely fast. If they gra if they get close enough, they will scurry in and grab you. That's fantastic news. Don't you just love to hear that? Oh, she got turned. Okay. Yep. Forgot about that. You got any loot for me? Uh, so where are these people at? They said we're going to New Austin, so I don't know who the person with the glass eye is. What is this? Birth of the Conservation Movement. Um, dinner for two. We got Undead Nightmare and Undead Nightmare. You know what? We're going to do at least one. I want to see what this is. Birth of the Conservation Movement. I don't really know what that is. Dinner for two in Armadillo. Is this out of place? Like, what is this? 
Yeah, let's let's go to this one first, and then we'll head straight down to the closest Undead Nightmare mission. Come on. Why not? Let's have some fun. This is clear across West Elizabeth, but like I said, I do want to start the next parts with a uh, with the new horse. Yeah. I think it's Pestilence for this area, and uh, I think War is over in New Austin. I think that's what it is. Wait, a town's current status can be seen from the pause map. Check periodically to see if any towns are in need of help. Status safe. Oh, that's cool. Well, the only two cities I'm going to worry about for right now, I do want to check McFarland's Ranch, uh, potentially, but the main ones are Blackwater and Armadillo. It's the only two ones I ever really go to, so for now, they're all I care about. And there is zombies out in the waste. Whoa, whoa. Not bad, Marston. What is that sound? Oh, it's bats. Oh, you look dead already. Yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Why is there a random guy out here? I am gonna go ahead and get off and loot her, though. I'll tell you that. Supplies are scarce, lady. I need everything I can, lady. I'm sorry. You are already Come dead. On. Oh, God, there's loot. Uh, let's not even go for it. Too risky. I don't want to waste the ammo. Deadeye is my saving grace. I'm not even going to bother trying to shoot outside of it anymore. Because I am garbage at it. There's wolves. I hope they're not undead wolves. I'd love to find the horse in this part. I don't know if there's a certain limit to when you can even spawn in the first place. Let's go. Unencountered towns have been added to your territory map. Oh, that's a town. Oh, we're, oh is this a uh, Manzan? Yeah, Manzanita Post. Uh, we might help them out while we're here. This is. I don't. I, don't, I probably won't bother with either of these. I didn't know there's a town up here. What? Is this Kokene or whatever it's called? Something like that. Either way, we'll probably stop at Manzanita Post because it's right here. Yeah. Oh, this is a lot of zombies. Dude, horse, you better run. Chewing tobacco and stuff like these from to What else we got? These guys have loot though, I want that. Slim pickings off the undead. So we gotta talk to the survivor, see what he wants. What do you need, my guy? Unless you want to start having your meals with me, King. I'll see what I can find. why I use dead eye okay, so this ammo chest right here I think here we go we can get the ammo chest shotgun shells return that to these guys and there's another town let's loot everything we can 
None of these guys have loot. You gotta be kidding me. I still have my war horse. That's a dead eye meter. Oh, I still have. Ooh, tomahawks. I have good shotgun, repeater ammo, provisions. I don't have much of anything. Is there of you a merchant? My fault. Please excuse me. You can you can sleep. Ooh, can I open these chests? No. Cause normally we have our chest in the bedroom. I don't think we have that anymore. I don't really want to sleep. Dang it, I don't really want to sleep right yet. I don't want to advance time too far. We'll head over to this birth of the conservation movement right now. Ooh. There's not zombie animals, is there? I don't remember this at all. We won't do many of these stranger, uh, stranger missions, but let's check out one or two. I'll probably try to stick to the main campaign again. Once again, uh, I, I highly recommend the game in the first place. So if you want to... Uh, check out every one of these that are available I would highly recommend it it's it's fun I just once again have limited time to stream uh, film um, so I, I can't I can't do everything with the time I have available so if you want to check out some of these that I, I will end up bypassing please please be sure to check out the game they, it's a fantastic experience oh it's up here Mister, hey, I got one. Got what, mister? The damn Sasquatch. A filthy thing was gonna eat my dog when this girl hollered out. And I shot the thing right through the heart. Oh, look at You feeling all right, mister? I've seen a lot of strange things recently, but... You say a Sasquatch? No Sasquatch running around here. Nor no place else. They, they're made up. There's Sasquatches every place, cowboy. They're nastier than your mother-in-law with a bad case of that virus. Down in Manzanita Post, they ate a little girl. Are you serious? Do I look like I'm joking? The hills are infested with them. Kill them! Kill the bastards before they kill all of us! Kill them! Kill them! I ain't afraid of you, you dumb hairy bastards! So what the heck is going on? Is it, 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 he's just wasting ammo. Can I get some of this ammo? Kill six Sasquatches in tall trees. Oh, maybe we won't be doing this mission. I don't think we're going to waste time with this. I mean, do we want to? On okay, we'll go ahead and do it. We're here already. I don't know if I have the ammo to take him out, but we'll try. I have a lot of shotgun ammo. Do they have the virus is the main question. If they have the virus, we're screwed anyways. That's a zombie there. I kind of want to stay on my horse. Let's go. Ooh, that's a big creature. How many bullets do you take? Oh, it's different locations each time, isn't it? I don't know if I want to do this. I at least want to loot them. They shouldn't have ammo, but... Sasquatch. Sasquatch teeth. Sorry. We'll go ahead and do this. Why not? That's probably the only one I do. So it takes three shots at a decent range to kill him with my uh, double barrel. So that's not a great sign, but it could be worse. It could be like a freaking grizzly where it takes like six shots. Freaking insane. Come on. 
Oh, they're kind of on the top side here. I need to go back up. At least the goats are untouched. Go. Hey, buddy. Oh, it does have loot. Nice. You won't be needing that. I'm getting teeth for some reason. Where's the next location? Ooh, even further up in the mountains. I don't like this where, where this is leading us. Let's go. Keep an eye out. I see you. And that's a cougar. Crap. Where's the cougar? Oh, dear God. I hate these cougars, man. God, I hate the cougars. They're the worst. Dang it. Now, this is real. Do they have undead? Oh my lord, no way. There is undead animals. Dang it. I have to wait a while. I'm going to have to run the whole way. Oh, it's so far up there, too. We'll keep whistling every... Keep whistling every once in a while. See if it pops back up. Make the run. There's undead animals. That's very bad. I know there is undead horses, so I guess it shouldn't have been too much of a surprise. But still. What is that? Is that a horse? What is that a what is that? Is that an undead boar? Ooh, that's an That's an undead boar. I really don't like this now. I forgot there's undead animals. You have loot. Let me let me take it though. There we go. There, there we go. Oh, I've I've attracted an undead one. So it won't always listen to your commands. That's the problem, from what I know. It will let you ride it, but it won't always do what you want, which is kind of dangerous. Wait, actually, now that I think about it, Let's go. am I just hunting innocent Sasquatches? Because these aren't undead creatures. They're not giving me undead Sasquatch sheath, they're just giving me Sasquatch sheath. Oh, you're right on the edge. Oh, you're going to make me impossible to loot, aren't you? I think we're going to go horseless. Can I make it down here without killing myself? I need to loot you. If I see another one... I think I'm just killing innocent creatures. And I kind of feel bad already. Yeah, I definitely just... I definitely just slaughtered innocent Sasquatches. They, they're literally running from me. They're not a... Oh, this God. I'm a horrible person. John Marsden. This does not... This is not good. All this redemption we've been working towards this whole campaign, and we just ruined it. This was horrible. They're literally running from me. Oh, Lord. I made a mistake. Yeah. Okay, this is going to be a, a stern talking to, isn't it? <laughs> Oh, God. Shoot me, human. Shoot me. Oh, I will, you foul creature of the night. You'll be granting me peace. Why's that? Keep you from eating more babies? In the name of all the traits, are you talking about human? You eat babies. 
You have to to survive. Everyone knows that. Ain't your fault. We eat berries and mushrooms, you fool. But we did. Now none of us are left. Some maniac's been murdering us. The last of my kind. We've lived in these hills a thousand years. You eat babies. If you say so, human. My family is gone. My kind is gone. Shoot me. I can't take it anymore. Make it stop! <laughs> Well, shit. Okay, I'm a horrible person. We... Should we just... Should we take him out? Like... What's these outfits I can get? Ooh, I need to change back to the Mexican poncho. Undead hunter. Uh... Oh, so we have a bunch. I think it's just gonna be a... Undead John Marston look, probably. Union suit... Union. Okay, so we only have seven options. Okay. Uh, I... I feel bad, but... I think we're just gonna do that. We've already killed the rest of his kind. We're, it's kind of too late. Oh, I feel terrible. Weird. All that... Re like I said, all that redemption we were working towards in the campaign just flew out the window. By the way, that horse looks sick. I mean, literally... Yeah. And as the fact that it looks awesome. But it also looks physically sick. But, oh God, I feel very bad about this. What the freaking crap? Why is there so many zombies here? I hope this is the way out of here. Okay, now we're going to head down to... That's a, that's a camp. No, we're going to head to Thieves Landing. God, I feel so bad after that mission. <laughs> that was a real guilt trip. Oh, I should have realized after the first two that they... Hold up. These guys are running from me. They're not even attacking. They're running from me. Now, I'm going to be honest. I knew there was a Sasquatch mission because YouTube Shorts. Shout out YouTube Shorts. Um, I've seen a, a short about uh, Come on. killing Sasquatches, but I thought that was in the campaign, so I thought this was going to be a different one. Dude, you're up there. I cannot help you. Wait, no, we're going up there. Give me a second, lady. I gotta make this trip around. Not help you. But I thought that was in the main campaign. I thought this was going to be something completely different. But nope, it turned out to be the same thing, so I realized it too late, though. There you go, lady. Don't mention. Dude, keep running though. Stay there. Whoa, whoa. Repeater ammo, I'll take it. Yeah. Where are you screaming at? What's going on? It says freaking zombie apocalypse, lady. Stop walking out in the middle of nowhere. Oh, there is so many zombies. Yeah, but like I said, I remember seeing that on a short, but I thought that's what, that was campaign. So in my head, it was going to be completely different. This was going to be a zombie version of the mission. I didn't realize until the second, or well, really the third one, that, okay, these guys are these guys are still running. They're not actively attacking us like all these other zombies. <sighs> I feel terrible. So we're going to try to get one more undead mission, the one I have highlighted, done, and then we'll call it for this part. I'm going to do my best to search around uh, Henniganstead and New Elizabeth, which is the top right of the map, and the McFarland's Ranch area. That's Henniganstead. Try to search those areas for, I believe it's Pestilence is that area. 
whatever war horse it is, uh, you gotta you gotta catch him and break him in, and then you gotta make sure you hitch him because I think it's some other uh, activity later that you can actually be able to summon those uh, undead horses, the four horses. But that's uh, that's kind of way later, so we're not gonna be able to do that for the time being. So you gotta make all you really gotta do is make sure you hitch him. If you're done somewhere, just don't leave it because I think you can lose them. Let's go. Which would be a very big waste. Wait, we still have our campsite, don't we? We don't have a campsite. That's bad. Okay, I thought we had a campsite still. You know what I just remembered? The undead horse also has a crap ton of stamina too. Let's go. I can just mash this button over and over. Either way, we'll try to get a actual four horse of the apocalypse. Go. I don't know who this is gonna. Be. They, they kept on mentioning the glass eye. Who is the glass eye? Yeah. The only ones I can think of are Nigel West Dickens, which is mentioned, and then uh, as Seth Breyers. But I don't know if he has a glass eye. Is this a still surviving town? Whole world gone crazy. This is a surviving town. Oh my lord. Oh god. Save that dude. Oh, you can do this, can't you? Oh, that makes it way easier. I hardly even have to aim. There's a lot of stuff to loot here. So there's a lot of ammo up for grabs here. Forgive me, mister. But at least I ain't gonna I need every bit of it. Excuse me, I'm getting stuck on bodies here. Man, you stink. So I think the green dots are you can pick up ammo. So we're gonna pick up every bit of ammo we can find. Here's one. What do we have? Here we go. Revolver. I'll take it. I'd, I'd rather waste revolver ammo than anything. Oh, it's in this, in this pen. Keep, keep giving me revolver. Here we are. Yes. Fantastic. I think there's one more in the town. I think that's it. Undead horse, where are you at? Let's head back down to the next undead nightmare. Dude, you look, it looks so cool. Yeah. 
I can't wait to see what the four uh, horses of the apocalypse look like because they're different. Oh, yeah, down here too. Oh, I don't want to work through that. Yeah. Who is this going to be? I can't tell if this is Nigel or Glass Eye, whoever that is. I'm stumped. I'm really stumped on that one. Who is Glass Eye? Seth doesn't have a Glass Eye, does he? Oh, we got to go up here. I don't think Seth does have a Glass Eye. Who could that be? I've had no problems with this horse, by the way. I, I thought it said it won't always follow your commands, but I've not had a problem yet. Come on, easy up now. Oh, it is Seth. That's Seth and Monty. Or, no, Moses. Seth. I called him Monty again. Seth, you okay? What's going on? Hi there, John. Fancy a game of cards? Not right this minute. You remember Moses, John. He's... He's, he's, he's a, a darn sight more loyal now than he was before. <laughs> uh, come here, boy. Come on. Come here, boy. Oh. Oh. What are you doing? We were boyhood friends, John. Moses is having a tough time right now. Ain't you, pal? What's going on? We're playing cards. Relax, sit down. I mean, with the undead walking the face of the earth, you crazy dumb bastard. That ain't nothing. Ain't nothing? I've seen husbands eating wives. Mothers eating sons. Graves popping open and the undead rising up. It sure as shit is something. Oh, boo-hoo. Big tough John Marson is scared of a little undead creature walking around. Moses wouldn't hurt a fly. Would you, darling? Besides, this ain't nothing new. The folks in Blackwater blaming it on that glass eye you found. Uh. Folks! 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 Damn them folks, John Marston! Damn them! And damn you! Get them! Get them, Moses! Get them! After all I've done for you, Seth, and I thought loyalty was important to you. You can't hurt me. Moses, get him. Go! Yeah. Get him! Get me, Moses. Looks like your dog's lost his bite, Seth. Now what the hell's going on? The dead have risen, and a virulent plague is turning people into flesh-eating crazies. What the hell you think's going on, genius? But why? But why? 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 Why not? Why not? <laughs> why the hell not? Because it ain't natural. Who made you Mother Nature and Mother Superior all at the same time? Who made you, John Marston? Same as made me. Same as made Moses. Is there a cure? These things tend to fade away. Now, if you want to get rid of it, you should go clear the graveyards. Either that, or stop worrying and become one of them. Now, if you excuse us, we got good times to remember. Happy times. Okay. See you soon then, Seth. Come on, Moses. It's your deal. Diamonds are trumps. I really wanted to see uh, Moses there kind of attack Seth. Honestly, could I could I just go like this? It won't even it won't even let you. <laughs> no way, it won't even let Let's you go. attack. Uh, won't even let you attack Moses. Okay, I think this is where we're going to call it for this part. Uh, we have three graveyards to clear out in New Austin. Like I said, anything beyond Hennigan Stead, I think, is the New Austin area. 
and it's Hennigenstead, New Elizabeth, and then the, I forgot what, I, I'm just calling it Mexico, I think it's an actual name for this place, uh, the, the territory itself, but we have three to start off with to clear out, and Armadillo to clear, so that's probably where we'll start right off in the next video, uh, yeah, that's, we got three, Graveyard, Armadillo, Graveyard, Graveyard, and then the next Undead Nightmare mission. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the first part of this Undead Nightmare playthrough. And I will, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to like, subscribe, leave any feedback down below. I'll see you guys next time. Take care.